Good morning. It's Monday, July 11th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, When Evil Plans Backfire, in our scripture, Psalm chapter 7. The wicked conceive evil. They're pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others, then fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Conception, Pregnancy, Birth A perfectly logical sequence. But when conception is the product of evil plans, the backfiring of such a pregnancy is justice. In recent years, we've seen a Ponzi scheme take down a greedy monster, Bernie Madoff, and sexual predators in the entertainment industry, Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, wind up in prison. The wheels of justice are still slowly grinding on the January 6th investigation. Those who plan for violence always succeed. They just don't know it's accumulating above their heads in a bubble that's getting ready to burst. Long before Bernie Madoff, Epstein and Maxwell, or the attack on our capital, Joseph's brothers were unaware of that balloon. They couldn't stand their little brother, so they tossed him in a pit, eventually selling him to a band of nomadic human traffickers. Joseph wound up a slave in Egypt, the result of his brother's evil plans. Fast forward 20 years, and that same boy dreamer Joseph is second in charge of Egypt's empire, holding the keys to the food vault during a major famine. And just whose brothers are sent to buy food from Joseph? (laughs) In the end, all the brothers could do was humble themselves at their brother Joseph's feet and plead for mercy. The payback of a malfunctioning trap stings. But in this case, God gave Joseph the spirit to take the high road. He saw God's purpose in his suffering and his brother's evil plans. As the now helpless brothers bowed before their brother Joseph, sitting on the throne with the power to decide their fate, he forgives and blesses what was unforgivable and cursed. Genesis chapter 50. You intended to harm me. But God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. For you today, if you've lived for five or ten minutes in this world, you've run into someone who gave you some trouble. And you probably caused a little trouble too. The account of Joseph and his brothers is the account of the human race. For each of us, the question always begs an answer. Whether you are the one doing the evil to another or the one who has been wronged, what are you going to do about your brother? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.